John. It has to be it you. It has to be you. No more questions. I'm going to talk to you. You. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. Those of you who are kind, gentle, patient, loving people who unfortunately the world sees past, who the world rejects, who the world does not consider, who the world fights against, who the world dims your light. I'm talking to you. Understand this. Life is hard. It's really hard. It has its, its challenges. It has its, its fire, the things that burn you. It has its rejection, its objections. And sometimes it seems personal. It seems like it's objecting to you. It's rejecting you specifically. And even though you may wish that you had a better life, an easier life, even though you wish that people were as patient with you as you are with them, even though you wish that people were as loving to you as they are as you are with them, that they are as, as considerate with you as you are with them, even though you may wish that things were better. I think that message was for you. It has to be you. This life that you're living, this challenging, pushing a rock uphill life that has been given to you, the loss that you've lived, the fear that has consumed you, but you somehow overcame, it had to be you. It had to be. Anybody else would have probably have fallen apart. And the fact that you're still standing just shows that God trusted you and only you to go through that. Understand your place here. Understand who you are. Understand the gift that you bring to others and the sacrifice that you make to make sure that everybody else around you is comfortable and living comfortable lives. I'm going to be honest. It sucks. It sucks. It's not fair. It may seem sometimes like it's not fair, but... Your joy isn't in this world. Your joy is inside of you. And that's what most people lack. Most people don't know how to find that joy, that peace, that tranquility, that patience that you have for them. They don't know how to find that inside themselves. So most people have it, but they don't know to look for it. And here you come, showing them love, showing them kindness, showing them compassion, showing them patience, all of that. Because your patience, your kindness, your love isn't found in the world. The source of it isn't in the world. Your source of it isn't in the fact that you have a good job. Your source of that joy isn't in the fact that you have a family. Your source of that joy, of that peace, of that tranquility isn't the fact that you have, you know, a church to go to. That source is in you. And if I know anything about the, the dark one is that it likes to, to make things harder for you because you shine the brightest. So uh, the message is keep shining. You shine. You know, the world will try to, to dim your light. You just keep shining. You keep shining. And you might say to God, I'm tired of this grandpa. And he says, well, that's too bad. You keep shining. <laughs> so you keep shining.